Hi everyone, let's continue ZOS Enterprise Computing. Today we will use IGYWCLG uh, utility to uh, compile, link, and run a COBOL program. And then I, uh, first I will explain this IGYWCLG and then we will have hands on lab. All right, our first uh, COBOL example program is to generate uh, this multiplication chart. Okay, row from one to nine, column from one to nine, and then do the multiplications using row and column. All right, this is a COBOL code to uh, generate uh, this chart. For COBOL program, it has identification division, identification division, that's here, and then environment division, data division, and the procedure division. In uh, I will change the mouse to pen. Uh, in identification division, we give uh, like a program ID, author, and then in environment division. For example, if uh, you want to access input uh, file, output file, you have to declare file uh, control in environment division. This sample code does not handle files, uh, so just leave environment division empty. And then next is data division. Data division, uh, you need to declare variables, all right? So here, these two lines, it declare i and j. They are numeric and two bytes, okay, or two digits. And then here is a table to hold uh, the multiplication result, okay? To hold this multiplication result, so each row we need to here means we need to use two digit for the multiplication result and then that is numeric and then we need a space that's alphabet okay so we will repeat this how many times nine nine times and then uh, how many rows we have? Because uh, this chart have nine rows. This chart have nine rows. So this kind of architecture has nine rows. So this part, okay, a line 1200 to line 1240, just to declare our table, uh, show this nine by nine uh, table, okay. In COBOL, we call it a uh, table. In Java, R, C, C++, we call it uh, array. Okay, uh, under data division, we declare a variable we need to do the calculation. And then in procedure division, okay, to write COBOL code to do the calculation. So move one to I, that's the initialization, this part perform and uh, perform is a loop. It's a loop. Uh, basically, we need to loop uh, from one to nine. And then inside this loop, it perform another perform. This is an inner loop, okay? So inner loop, it will do loop one. Loop one is here. Loop one is here. It will call loop one for J from one to nine, okay? That is inner loop, okay? It's just repeat loop one uh, for J from one to nine. Outer loop for I from one to nine. So basically this part is a double loop, outer loop, inner loop. And then loop one will just do multiplication I multiply j and then uh, save the result to pij. pij is where? pij is here. That's p, right? Okay. 
i is row j is column it will save result to this p and after finish calculating the table then this part is to uh, display the uh, table display i start from one to nine by the way in cobol array index or table index start of one okay in uh, index index started from one if table size is n it will start from one to n okay in this case table size has nine rows it started from one to nine and then uh, it will display row i row i is where row i is this table okay so it will display one row by one row. All right, that is a source code to generate this multiplication chart. After finish source code, we have to write JCL. JCL job control language. And today we will use this IGYWCLG. IGYWCLG this utility will do compile, compile, link, and run at, at once. Okay, it will do all these three tasks at once. So these two line is uh, uh, called a uh, job card. Okay, uh, in the future I have uh, another video to explain JCL or file and. Uh, here first uh, jcl it will uh, execute it will run this utility and then comma that means next line is continued to uh, this line that's the parameters this uh, utility need and the input uh, cobol source code is here it is saved under kc02720.com.cobol inside there is ex3 that's a source code this is a source code this source code is here this is a cobol source code okay is saved in this uh, uh, data set uh, of course this one this is our PDS is a PDS data set, then EX3 is a member under that data set. All right. So now it's a hands on lab. So before going to hands on lab, I'd like to thank these three persons who make hands on lab available, possible to us. All right, uh, my computer is connected to ZOS, so I just start from this ISPF menu. And uh, let's first uh, check the COBOL source code. Use the number to edit. And uh, the COBOL source code is under COBOL. This is our, uh, this is uh, a PDS, okay? Just type this one, hit enter. So under this PDS, uh, there are multiple files on uh, this one here. This is a COBOL EX3 is a COBOL code. Let's look at uh, here, edit. All right. So, and uh, that's identification division. And then environment division is empty now and declare variable ij then declare a table or in java in c c++ uh, it is called the array after declaring these uh, variables in procedure division then generate the code okay procedure division generate the code uh, this part is a double loop double loop uh, I from one to nine, J from one to nine, okay, do, uh, do multiplication for I uh, multiply J. Uh, I multiply J is here 
it will do multiplication i multiply j. Okay, those are COBOL verb. Okay, multiply, uh, move, perform, and perform. Those are all COBOL verb, or you can call it a COBOL statement. All right, so uh, that's uh, from line uh, 1510 to line 1540 is outer loop, inside line 1520 is the inner loop, okay? Uh, every time, look at here, i is increased by one. In inner loop, every time j is increased by one. After generating this uh, calculation, uh, it will generate a table. Then here, it just print uh, or display the table uh, row by row. All right, that is source code. And then next, uh, let's look at the JCL. JCL, let's go uh, press F3 key, press F3 key again. So JCL, let's try. This JCL is another uh, PDS data set. I put all JCL file under that data set. So here we can see Uh, this JCL and edit. So this is a JCL file to compile and link and run this COBOL source code. Okay, where the COBOL source code is, it is located under uh, this uh, PDS data set. EX3 is a member inside this uh, PDS data set. And then this utility IGYWCLD, it will do link, a uh, compile, link, and run at once. All right. Now, uh, next I will use a submit command. That means submit this job to system. Okay, submit. Now it asks to enter our job name characters. Here I just type uh, like a Y, okay? Y, that means uh, this uh, letter Y will be attached to this uh, uh, ID. Then you can easily find the output file belong to this uh, ID. And, okay? Uh, I submit this job to see same. Now we can check uh, the result. How to check the result? We need to go to ISPF top, use the start command. So max this code equal to zero, 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 zero. That means no error, no money. All right. So from here, we will select uh, the menu is not listed here. We can use F8 key to go move down. F8 key, we can use SD command. SD command means what? System display and the search facility. So we will use SD to search the result generated by this program uh, in the output queue. So we will use SD command here we will search output queue, okay? Out search output queue, they use the O command. All the users, uh, their output is in this queue. So I needed to use the find command, find the, the file belong to me, KC02720, followed by Y, all right? So these two files belong to the JCL I just submitted. And then first one is, uh, first one is the result. Second one, including uh, compiling, logs, errors, okay? So we will look at the first one. All right, see this chart is nicely created. All right. So basically today we use one example 
a COBOL code to show how to compile, link, and run that COBOL application. That's all for today.